Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Before we get into the video, I just want to say I'm coming off the tail end of a cold, so if I sound weird or croaky, that's why. But I was too excited about making this video to wait until I was not croaky sounding because we have in front of us the UNSC Marine Platoon Pack. This is a super interesting set for a lot of reasons. Uh, mainly being the fact that we get a ton of Marines in one set. And Mega decided to make these ones a little bit shorter. So I'm very interested to look at that. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the box. We get to see our orange Spartan here as well as here and operating the gun. So they are like, this guy is important in this set for some reason. Get to see all the figures, all the weapons laid out. I really like this this kind of big blister pack look. That's, that's cool. Looks like we got a DLC code. And then if we turn it around to the back, we get to see all of our weapons, we get some stands, and we get to see kind of an action pose, and we have names for each of these characters. Well, not really names, more like designations. So we've got a survivor, a demolition marine. Uh, looks like the person manning the turret is just a normal marine. This guy over here is a technician. We got a sniper, and then the Spartan Mark Seven. So that's very cool. I actually like this box a lot, even though I will definitely not be keeping it since we are going to open it and it's going to destroy it. So let's go ahead and do that. So it looks like we get a pull tab at least, so it'll make it a little easier. There's our Spartan. There is, uh, which one is this one? This is the Demolition Marine. Oh, there's a battle rifle. Interestingly enough, it's the old style. This is our UNSC Marine. They did not give her really a designation. There's a helmet. There's the Demolition Marine's rocket launcher. An AR with no ammo counter. We gotta find that ammo counter. Uh, come on. Okay, well, at least the back of the package stayed intact so we can figure out who's who. Here is the sniper and he's got dark skin. I really, really like the new dark skin Marines. Uh, I think this is our tech. Uh, yes, it's our tech. Come on, get out. There we go, sniper rifle out. Here's the text backpack. Wait, can I just... Oh my gosh. There we go. And then we have a little data pad for him. If I can get it out. This plastic is not very... Oh, not very pliable. And then our survivor, who on the package has no helmet but has a helmet here, and there's a chest plate for him as well. Oh, and it looks like he comes with the battle rifle, also old style. It's kind of interesting, we've seen both old and new style BRs in the infinite wave. Come on. Okay, will the BR come out? Yes, it will. This annoying little piece of armor, though. Just wants to stay in there. Okay, there we go. Now there's cardboard dust everywhere. Oh, yes. Yes. All right, and then a bag of parts. All right, so let me go ahead and assemble all this, and we'll take a closer look. There we go. Everyone is freed from their plastic prisons and geared up. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at them one by one, starting with this Spartan. Let's also take a quick look at the chain gun before we get to the Spartan. And as I said in my skull control video, the chain gun is making a return, and I love it. We haven't seen this whole assembly like this for a very long time. 
uh, possibly since before the articulation change. I'm not sure, but I really, really like this. I like it a lot. It's got the stand, extra handles here, and then the uh, bit of armor to cover up the front of the gun, as well as the gun itself. And you can kind of rotate it on its stand. You can have a figure hold the handles. Uh, I said hold the handles. There we go. Obviously, that's a terrible pose, but you get the idea. So this is a fantastic inclusion, and I would buy a couple of these sets just to get more of these gun turrets. Now let's take a look at the Spartan. His gun is an old-style battle rifle. His printing looks fantastic. This shade of orange is fantastic. There are some slight variations in the pieces, depending on like which one you're looking at. The chest plate is like a little bit different shade than the head. But I think that's kind of unavoidable. It's not too bad with this figure. Now, the odd thing is, this guy is almost identical to the Spartan found in the uh, UNSC combat unit. Except, let's see. I think the printing on the chest might be slightly lighter for this guy. It's really hard to tell, but yeah, they they look pretty much identical. Slight differences, like the print on the top. This guy's is thinner, but they're they're essentially the same figure. Um, I'm not really complaining because these are fantastic looking Spartans, and I love this shade of orange. So it's not bad to be able to get them in multiple sets. Uh, it's just a little confusing why Mega decided to do both, because I think these are the only figures, the only Spartan figures that have appeared in multiple sets so far. Moving on to the Marines, we're going to go ahead and start with the Marine Survivor. This guy kind of has like a short sleeve shirt, almost as if he were jumped out of bed, uh when they were attacked by the Banished, and he just like tossed his armor on over top, grabbed a battle rifle, and ran. I like that a lot, actually. Especially since if you remove his armor, he almost can pass as a civilian figure. So that's pretty cool. His head is done very nicely. I believe it's the same one we saw in the Warthog Rally, but I don't know. This one's just done so well. It has so much character to it so I really like that I like the short sleeves I like the fact that we do get some armor to go with him you know if we want to actually have him armored up that's really cool now the biggest thing about these Marines is that their legs have been shortened not the lower legs the upper legs so they're different now and it gives them a slightly bow-legged look and they're a little thick on the front so I heard a lot of people complaining about how you can't straighten their legs all the way well it's close enough that's that's as straight as you can get you can see where it's kind of bumping up if that really really annoys you just take an exacto knife and shave a little bit off and then you'll be fine you still get the same amount of bend backward so my question is how does he look next to one of the other Marines. So this is my favorite of all of the infinite Marines so far. I kind of geared him up a little bit more. Let's see, is the height difference noticeable? Uh, yeah, a little bit. A little. Here is our Demolition Marine. She's pretty standard for a infinite Marine. She's got a big rocket launcher and all of the fully kitted marines get a backpack as well which is pretty cool pretty typical shoulder armor and then we'll go ahead and pop off the helmet that's a nice head the printing for the hair is done well the printing for the eyes is done well that's good that's really good Ugh, i can't even pick up the helmet it just wants to keep 
bouncing around. Now, was this the... Yeah, this one has a super, super loose foot. I haven't actually seen that as an issue yet. Uh, so it's a little strange, but it's just a peg, so some super glue will fix that. So it's definitely not the most notable figure in the set, but it's still a really solid figure, and I really like the head that she has. It's, it's a really good one. Here is our other female Marine for the set. Uh, she doesn't really get any sort of a designation. She's just a Marine. She does get an extra leg strap, though, so this shows that the new upper legs still fit the Call of Duty leg straps. It's got an extra pouch on it. She has bulkier shoulder armors and the others. There's that AR. The uh, ammo counter was in that little bag of pieces. She gets a backpack as well. And, whoops. Uh, oh, that's, that's, that ain't, that ain't it. Come on, okay. There we go. This head is the same mold as what we saw with the Marine Sniper. And that head has uh, kind of, is known for having some problems with the helmet sticking on too hard. It's a good head though. She looks kind of unimpressed, uh, the, the way this one's printed. She looks very unimpressed. She ended up with a little spot of brown on her chin, so that's kind of strange. But that's a very minor nitpick, and overall it is another very good figure. Here is our technician. He's got a little sidekick pistol, which is terrible. I hate it. We need the Magnum back. Just, that's going to go away. Uh, he also comes with this little data pad, and this data pad is fantastic. It's got little, like a keyboard on it and a little screen. That's great. I love this piece. He has a communications backpack and his head look at that head look how much emotion is in that head I took his helmet off and I was shocked I I love this head this is great this is the same mold as what we got with the blind bag Marines I believe but the way they printed his eyes and the way they got his his brow kind of over the eyes oh it's just so good I love it what I don't love, though, is the fact that his hand uh, moves around in its socket. It's not terrible, but sometimes these problems can get worse as you move the hand, and then they eventually will just fall out of their socket. So I'm going to have to see if I can fix it myself. If not, I'm going to have to send an email to customer service, which would be disappointing because then I would have to wait a while to get another one. Actually, the whole hand feels a little bit weird because like when you pop it in there, you can see it's not sitting in the hand all the way. Another thing I noticed as I was messing with this guy is there are kind of some stress marks showing up in his hand. Uh, that's the weird hand. But there's a tiny bit in there as well. Now, with the Halo hands, stress marks aren't as huge a deal because they don't break as easily but it's still a little bit strange. Last, but certainly not least, we have the sniper, and he obviously is armed with a sniper rifle. He's got a pretty standard kit. He's got a ammo, a uh, little ammo belt on his leg, and a grenade, which, no, this does not confirm that there's gonna be any sort of grenades like that in Infinite. It's just Mega wanted to make them cooler. And then he's got this dark skin, and I really love the dark skin tones that Mega has started doing. We saw a slightly darker tone for our technician. Whoops, I'm getting out of camera. So we have the really light skin, then we have kind of a more darker olive skin, and then we get really dark skin. And I really like that. Especially this, this shade looks really good. I really like it. His belt is kind of sitting all weird and crooked. Ugh. I noticed that in the package, and I was wondering how it happened. Okay. So now it's time to take a look at his head. Uh, he kind of looks like he's seen some stuff. Like, he looks a little traumatized. I guess that makes sense, seeing as most of his 
army has been defeated by the banished. So he looks a little bit, a uh, little bit traumatized. But I still really like this head. It looks really good. It's got a lot of character to it. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the other marine again because I believe, well, no, they're actually even different shades. Whoa, that's impressive. I like that a lot. Let me pop his helmet back on. And I especially like that they gave him the colored forearms as well, so he doesn't just have his sleeves all the way down. I like this guy a lot. Well, there you have it. That is the UNSC Marine Platoon Pack. I really like what Mega did with this set, honestly. Uh, uh, when it was first revealed, I know a lot of people were kind of wondering if it was a fake. It seemed almost like a too-good-to-be-true set. And I think this set definitely has a few issues, like the fact that they shorten the legs. It really doesn't do much. It just kind of is there, and it makes us have different heights for our Marines, which is kind of cool. But it didn't really change all that much. Like, I don't think it'll stop people from complaining about Marines being taller than Spartans. So that was a little strange. We've got this guy has the weird hand. Other than that, the quality control seems fairly solid. And it's just a good set. If you want a little troop of Marines ready to go right off the bat, this is a set for you. The Spartan is great, even though you know he does come in two sets. The chain gun is amazing. I love it. I'm so glad Mega brought back that whole assembly. Now, it took me so long to do this review because uh, I had a hard time finding this set. Originally, it was on Amazon for like 20 bucks. 20 bucks is like its retail price. And it sold out really quick and then went up to like 60 and so on. I think a lot of targets are getting these now. Hopefully, we'll start seeing them at Walmarts and whatnot. And we won't have to pay scalper prices. I think 20 is fair for this set. It's not great. It feels a little steep. But since the Marines are so geared up, it's, it's fair. Especially since we get the chain gun. Now, I know a lot of people have been finding it on sale. If you can find it on sale, I'd say go ahead and buy them all. <laughs> like, if you, can, if you can find them for, like, half price, don't hesitate. Just, just buy them. You will have a full army and a ton of chain guns. So... If you can find it, I'd say go ahead and get it. You get a ton of... Like, all these Marines has so much character. And I love it. I can't, I can't say that enough. It's great. The only thing that's really, really not great is this. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time.